Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan with RNG Products. For you guys that follow my channel, this is gonna be workshop update number two. We've got a lot going on, so I'm gonna just take you uh, through a quick update. This is gonna be a quick and dirty video, just like my first uh, shop update, more of a vlog style. And if you're actually a new viewer, I don't wanna leave you out. Go ahead and hit subscribe and smash the like button if you like this type of content, especially if you wanna see some of the projects I have coming up in the future. So let's just get right into it. Um, one of the things I really needed in the workshop that I didn't have since moving out here was a drill press. So went ahead and picked up this WEN 12 inch drill press. It's the uh, bench top version. It's the, four, it's, I believe it's model 1412. So you've got a variable speed drive. It has a light switch and it has a built-in laser. And the WEN has this really cool, I don't even know what you want to call it, it's this little support arm that slides. Let's see if we can get it so you can see it. It's this really cool little support arm that slides in and out. Whether I will use it or not, who knows? Um, another aspect of the shop that I've been needing to upgrade, and don't mind all this, I'm just shooting a, um, this is a product for a company called Expert Sign Tools, so we're shooting uh, a video for them on that, so it's kind of taken up my, I don't know, as you can see, my workshop's a disaster right now. So everybody knows the old Craftsman 14-inch uh, bandsaw, that was another area of the shop that I really wanted to improve on, so I went ahead and did all my research and I finally ended up getting the, sorry it's sideways, but this is the Laguna 1412 BX version. And I also opted to get the single phase 220 volt version. Um, this one does have the foot brake. Um, it's a real nice unit. So gotta get that unboxed, get that sucker installed. Another new item we picked up is the Supermax uh, 1938 drum sander. I've used it for a couple of these ingrain cutting boards. The thing works awesome. So after I get a little more time on this unit, I will most likely do a video on that uh, to give you my overall impressions and who I think the machine would be good for. And I've really been needing a cross-cut sled. You guys have seen me constantly talk about my poor man's cross-cut sled. Thought about building one, but ultimately really like this Incra Miter 5000. Looks like a really good unit and uh, went ahead and picked that up. So again, I'm going to do a video on that as well. And we also have the infamous Ryobi uh, benchtop routing table. And that guy does have a Ryobi router attached to it. And again, I, I did film the unboxing, I did film the assembly, and I'll give you my feedback on, on that table as well. And some of the other nicer upgrades that I've actually made to the shop is I finally bit the bullet and kind of jumped on that hype train and I've picked up a couple Fest Tool items. I've got the TS55 track saw. I've got the DF500 Domino. And I also just picked up the ETS125 Orbital Sander, which you can see right over here. And I do have that hooked up right now to the CT36 HEPA filter uh, vacuum. And just being completely honest, I've used Orbital Sanders my whole life. I had a really hard time believing that the Fest Tool Sander was really gonna outperform these other orbital sanders, and I've used every brand, make, and model. And let me tell you, that's money well spent. That's one of the best sanders I've ever used. I could literally take that cutting board in the kitchen, sand it down completely, and it won't leave any dust. It's unbelievable. The dust extraction fest tool is definitely worth the price point if, if you want to keep your shop clean. So I think that's most of my smaller, I mean, granted the bandsaw is obviously a pretty big purchase, but um, that's just some of my smaller updates. Now here's the part of the shop update that I wanna talk about the most, and I'm super, super excited about this upcoming project. If you guys follow my channel and already know a little bit about my background, you know I really like CNC machining. And if you watched my update video uh, number one, I, I talked a little bit about it. Uh, here's what I ended up with, folks. I went ahead and purchased the Avid CNC wood router. And if you watched my first update, I had originally talked about either getting a Cam Master or a Shop Saber. Um, ultimately, I came across Avid CNC, which is formerly known as CNC Router Parts. And weighing the pros and cons of all the different machines, the Avid CNC machine is just gonna be the best option for me. One of the things that was really important for me, especially having a background uh, with running a CNC laser and a rotary engraver in the past, you always come across projects that don't fit on that table. 
So the price jumps are big on table size. And with Cam Master and Shop Saber, I really was only gonna be able to afford a two by four table and that I barely thought would be okay. But with the Avid CNC machine that you see right here in these boxes, this is gonna give me the opportunity to have a four foot by four foot uh, working table. And it comes with a dedicated air-cooled spindle so I don't have to deal with a water-cooled spindle. And that was something I wanted. I wanted a dedicated spindle, not a router. Um, if I ever outgrow this machine and want to step up to a four by eight, because they use the unique 8020 um, for the for most of the frame, you can buy a kit to add onto that and turn it into a four by eight table. So I love the fact that I do have the option to upgrade. I got a much larger table, and I'm into this for about the same price as I would have been on a two by four if I'd gone with the Shop Saver or the Cam Master. One of the only downsides is that obviously doesn't look like much of a CNC machine right now. So it is a do-it-yourself kit. It comes plug and play, it comes with everything you need. So if you have half a brain and can read directions, you should be able to get this project put together. It'll probably take a couple days. Avid's done a really good job. They've got a really good manual that will give you step-by-step -step directions on how to install it. They've got videos, they've got a bunch of resources. Uh, their customer service through the buying process was fantastic as well. So for those of you that are interested in CNC machining or wanna get into CNC machining, you might wanna to subscribe to the channel because this next year, I'm gonna focus pretty heavy on the CNC machining side of my wood shop. Um, I'm gonna be going through some Fusion 360 tutorials. I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna show you how to put it together, how to set it up. Um, just cover a lot of the basics to help everybody out. Well, unfortunately, that's gonna be the end of this video, but before I do check out, I do wanna say thank you to everybody that does subscribe to the channel and support the channel. We're almost up to 2,000 subscribers, so thanks again for all the support. I really appreciate that. I know that's not a huge number compared to some of the other channels out there, but hey, everybody's gotta start somewhere, so I do really appreciate everybody that subscribes, comments, and supports the channel. Um, and also, in my shop update number one, I forgot to talk about it, my shop was only wired for one, 110, so I had a good friend of mine come over and we went ahead and wired up a uh, 240 uh, single phase breaker. And then now we've got a plug right here for that. So got some of the remnants of it. Um, I do plan to come off of that junction box there and I am gonna run, I'm gonna run a couple more outlets in here because I originally talked about, in my DeWalt planer video, I talked a little bit about the limitations on the blades and I was going to upgrade to the Shelix but ultimately I think I'm going to probably just end up upgrading to like the Grizzly 15 inch or 20 inch and those are 220 single face so I might as well daisy chain the power and put three different plugs in here so well there you have it shop update number two hope you enjoyed it really looking forward to 2020 going to have some amazing videos hope you guys will join me uh, for the journey so hope everybody has a fantastic holiday and we're out of here